me and production team, like, we both produce solo records. So, you know, Black got some tracks where it's just Black. I got some tracks where it's just me. At the end of the day, it's always going to say Family Biz ENT. Okay. That's, that's uh Now, yeah. how many of those producers did you know before you came to Rock Battle, and what actually brought you to that site? No, that was only Black. Um, black was the only one that I knew before Rock Battle, and, um, you know, like Shiesty Cartoon and Booney all met through Rock Battle. Um, what brought me to Rock Battle was actually we took a tra uh, trip to Atlanta. <clears throat> and a, a friend of mine at the time, he was going there telling us about Shawty Red. Like, yo, man, this Shawty Red, dude, and, you know, you got this dude, he got this artist, Lil' J. Young Jeezy was Lil' J back then. So he's like, yeah, man, let me play some of his music. So he playing us his stuff. And we get to the studio with Shawty Red. We meet him. You know, nobody knew who he was at the time. But I was like, his beat is nice, man. So, you right. know, we end up, you know, we vibed out with them, and then he's like, yo, y'all should check out this site called rockbattle.com. And I'm like, what's that? He's like, you know, the, you know, Rock Wilder. I'm like, Rock Wilder, the Grammy-winning producer? He's like, yeah, man, he got his own website for producers. You go in there, sell your beats, battle other producers, check it out. So we just went and checked it out. Started off as a basic member. I think back then you could only put, like, maybe, you could join, like, five battles a week or something like that. It was some limitations on it. And we made too many beats, so we was like, man, let's go ahead and pay for the exclusive thing and see how it go. And, you know, never turn back from there. And it's, it's more than what, you know, what people think it is. You could, you could just go on there and battle your beats and, you you know, you um, sell your beats and all that. But it's a, it's one of the biggest networking sites for us music producers that's up and coming on the net. And, like, you know, I mean, it, it you really some is. of the coolest people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. I mean, you meet some of the coolest people. You meet some assholes, you know who's who, and you take it from, you build your relationships from there. You know, I look at it like, you know, a few people that I name would never be a part of Family Biz if I didn't run into Rock Battle. So shout out to Rock Battle and Rock Battle and Flipper. Indeed. That's okay. how it definitely helped us out. It definitely helped us step our game up because, you know, we thought, you know, we, you get you get you get so much good music and then you get people around you like, yo, that's hot, that's hot. And then, you know, you jump on the Internet and it's random random, you know, opinions about your music. It's like, yeah, that's hot, but, you know, your mix is terrible. You need to, you right. know, your kick drum is distorted and uh, your strings need <laughs> to be EQ'd. It has some reverb. And you like, damn, I thought this was my hottest shit. So, oh, you, you know what I mean? It. Yeah. It, it definitely made us just, you know, step our game up and just, just try to work harder at what we was trying to do. And then we met somebody like Cartoon who was like, yo, I'm in school for engineering, so... Now, I can help you out with that, you know, help me with the beats. And I'm like, oh, let's do it. So, you know, we um, aim every day, just, you know, I might make a beat mm -hmm. while he's watching my screen and then send it to him and watch him mix it. And then, you know, we each learn what we try to learn. So it became, you know, became a part of the team. So there's stuff like that that would have never happened if it went for Rock Battle. So I got, you know, I got a lot of love for Rock Battle. Yeah, now that's what's up because they, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have met you and so many other awesome people if it wasn't for. Well, right. yeah, but I, I really don't think I would have if it wasn't for Rock Battle. Um, now, so far, what has been your greatest accomplishment as far my as the music game? Yeah, as far as in the music game, my greatest accomplishment. Yeah. Hmm. It hasn't really happened yet, but from, if you said so far. So, so far I would say our first placement we got back in 2007 with Atlantic Records. That was, um, that's so far that's our biggest accomplishment, but, um, you know, we plan to do way more. We've recently been working with uh, Arsonist, so the heat maker. We did like four joints on his new up and coming album, so be on the lookout for that. We definitely trying to, you know, trying to make him make some noise at the same time. He's already a producer, so for him to even listen and record vocals to our beats is just, like, crazy because, you know, the Heat Makers, they was notorious when the whole Dipset and Cameron and Jewel's era, mm -hmm. you know, they, they really did their thing. So for him to even reach out to us for, for production, and we met him at an I Stand to Showcase. So, you know, we've just been keeping in touch. That's like, you know, a brother from, you know, from New York. That's 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 good too. But as of right now, I would definitely have to say the placement with Atlantic Records. That's probably our best music accomplishment so far. More to come, though. Yeah, so far. Okay, yeah, because y'all got heat, so. We, we just so I'm definitely started. looking forward to more. Um, yeah. Now, let me ask you now, what is this whole, now, I already know the fun. That's because you're a part of it. I already fuck know what you mean. 
Fuck you, well, I'm sorry, you know what what I'm saying? Saying? Yeah, Fuck you so mean, when you uh, explain that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the origin of it. The very beginning. I believe it was me, Cartoon, Black, um, Boondock, Young Fire, and um, who else was on there? It may have been like M. Dot, I'm not sure. But basically, it was like a bunch of us, and we was all on Tiny Chat, just conversating. So we all cammed up. You can see everybody. We just talking about just different shit. Like, it wasn't even about music. We was just talking, just getting to know each other. Like I said, Rock Battle's a big networking site. So I was telling some story. I can't even remember the story. You probably had to go to Young Fire and ask him that. And I'm explaining the story, and I'm like, something happened. And dude was like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, dude, what do you mean? And Young Fire started crying. Like, he just... He was laughing for, like, 10 minutes straight. He just couldn't stop la- Like, the conversation he did continue because Young Fire wouldn't stop laughing. So he was like, yo, you should use that. You should use that. And I was like, I say this shit all the time. You know what the fuck you mean? That's, that's my shit. I've been saying that. It's, I mean, people, it's, people are starting to spread. I've been, like, in the mall. And it's like, what the fuck you mean? I've seen it in movies now. I'm like, damn, this shit blew up bigger than I thought. You know, but, you know, it started from there. And then, you know, it went on to, you know, you, Phoenix Star, we got Bill Biggs, Lady Lyric. You know, it just it just spread it. Um, you know, Gallo, Lust Lane, B- DJ Big Time. It you know it just it it turned into something else. And be looking out for that project too, because we actually working on a family mixtape. Yes, 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 yes. yes Wait, sir, we all just went in on the joint. Yeah. I, I actually somebody actually uh, schooled me to that. I got me a little snippet. So ah. I definitely, you know, I always fuck with y'all. So that's definitely, Indeed. you know, something I'm, I'm happy to be a part of. Now, yeah, it's one particular <laughs> joint I gotta hear. I haven't heard the final copy of it with uh, oh, okay. Lady Lyric on the okay. chorus, but I, I, I gotta hear. I gotta check that out. So, but yeah, that big tape is gonna be big. And um, like I, so many, so many talented people involved with it. You know, you can't even be mad at it. This, this is gonna smack people in the face, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to be huge, huge, huge from what I hear. Now, what do you think sets you, your, your, you know, sets your whole crew and yourself apart from everybody else's in the music game or in the production game right now? Uh, probably the fact, I can answer that quick, I, everybody's in their own lane. Like, everybody, <clears throat> everybody is dope in their own respect. Like, everybody can really lead their own movement or their own team, but everybody, you know, just kind of put their egos and everything aside and just, like, let's let it be about the music, you know what I'm saying? We're going to collaborate on something, let's do it. If not, let's do it. Everybody keep their movements going, but we still the family, you know what I'm saying? We, You know, that's pretty much it. We all family. We look at it like we all going for the same goals. Everybody's trying to get from that up-and-coming producer to that, that super producer status or that, you know, that, that household name in the industry. So it's like we all working on the same things. If you, if somebody needs some of my help and they and my crew, it's nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing. If I got it, you got it. And same, you know, same vice versa with everybody else. They all feel the same way. And it's people that I actually network with and talk with. Like, it's not a person in the crew that I don't talk to. And if it is, then I kick them out. It's as simple as that. <laughs> but I'll conversate with you, you're gone. It's like, you got to go. You know. That's, I mean, that's the whole point of it. I mean, you know, some crews are, especially on the site, are built for, you know, like, um, you know, winning battles and all that. We became the number one all-time crew, and that was cool, but it was just like a networking thing for me. I just wanted to get to know everybody because you never know where your blessing going to come from. You know what I mean? And, um, exactly. Different, different situations. Like, we went out to New York to handle some stuff with G-Unit, and, and we met Breeze out there, so shout out to Breeze. Um, tried to reach out to Platt. You know, he had some stuff going on. We couldn't get together, but we did speak. And um, we did meet Rock Wild out there, so shout out to the big homie Rock Wild as well. It's just, you know, like I said, networking. That was That's really was the whole plan of the family. You know what I'm saying? The family was just to get a bunch of dope producers together and, you know, just keep in touch, just network with each other. That, you know what, I will say that. Like, I think I've, I think I've, work with most of the crew and some people I'm still, you know, getting to know because I've been kind of yeah. MIA, but, you know, you have, yeah. like, you know, the crew is well-rounded. Um, 
Mm-hmm. And I think that you all, really, like I said, y'all own some superstar shit, some all-star shit. So, you know, I'm just it. like, I'm proud of y'all because, you know, we came a long way. So I'm really proud of y'all for, you know, just doing your thing and seeing y'all make moves. Now, I want to hear a little bit more about the I Standard showcase that okay. y'all were a part of. Okay. Let's go. Let's now, go. how did that how did that occur? Like, what made you all want to actually enter that? Actually, you know, I kind of looked at it like I looked at it as sort of like an opportunity to experience RockBattle.com, but live. You know, like I had I had never done that. And um, what happened was is actually I was talking to Booney, and Booney was just like, you know, um. You know, you should really get into Red Bull. He was telling me about Red Bull Big Tone, and I was like, "What's what's that?" And you know, he sent me a link to his YouTube video. It was a video of him performing in a beat battle when he won in Denver. I was like, "That's dope." So um, when I found out about that one last year, it was too late to get in to enter it. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna look out for it next year." So when the next year, when it came out next year, he was like, "Yo, definitely check that out. Try to get into it. You know, you should submit your beats to it." I'm like, okay, cool. So we actually submitted our beats for Red Bull Big Tone, and then um, somehow somebody linked me to I Standard. I can't remember who who linked me to it. It was like, yeah, it's in Chicago, too. I'm like, oh, that's at home, so I can definitely check that out. So let me go ahead and submit some beats for that also. So it just so happened at the same time they both called, like, yeah, you've been accepted to, you know, be a part of the I Standard Showcase and Red Bull. So we was like, okay. Well, actually, the Red Bull went a little differently, but – we speaking on our standards. Okay. So our standard, you know, it was just like, you know, you got to come to this mandatory meeting and, you know, me and Black was like, mm-hmm. let's go up there, let's do what we got to do, pay our little fee and shit, go have fun, man. It was just, it was just, it was, it was, it was the whole rock battle environment, but live. Like you get to actually see the people, you know, vibing to your beats live. It's nothing like mm-hmm. that. It's nothing like seeing people just vibe out to your stuff. Because I'm sure. Now you got a website. You can t- keep track of who's coming to your site and or who's purchasing your beats and all that, but you just don't get to see that reaction live. So any opportunity to come right. up where you can, you know, just spread your name a little more and just, you know, have people get to see people and how they react to your music live is just like, you know, it's, it's nothing like it. So if you ever get the opportunity to do it, that's, that's something you should do. That, Word. that was good that y'all actually went out there and took that step. Now, yes. before we go, because I feel like we're going to have to do a part two to this interview. Indeed. But before I go, do y'all want to give out any shout-outs or, you know, any announcements, anything like that? I want to give a shout-out to Phoenix Star for interviewing us. I want to give a shout-out to Rock Battle, the family. I want to give a shout-out to my baby, Stacy. I want to give a shout-out to the fam, the family. I want to give a shout-out to everybody who's ever come in contact with us or heard our music and thought it was dope or thought it was whack or whatever, you listen to it. You know what I'm saying? That's all we really wanted to try to do was get you to check it out. And You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody on the struggle, on the grind, trying to get to that next level. Keep working on it. We're going to keep working on our shit. And, um, you know, that's about it. Check us out, FamilyBizNTBeats.com, Twitter.com, backslash FamilyBizNT. Be sure to check out PhoenixStarOnline.com, all that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just check oh, us all out. Yeah. We're all in the same movement, trying to do the same thing. So just check us all out because we're coming. It's all love. So we will definitely continue this um, at a later date, this part two, because it's a lot to get into. So with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. And um, we we'll appreciate definitely you for having this. me. No problem. You know it's all love, all love over here. All the time. So I appreciate time. y'all, man. Y'all have a good night. Indeed.